Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet these very cute earmuffs. I'll be using my favorite party time chunky yarn and it has got this beautiful white pink and gray color and the recommended hook size is six millimeters but I decided to use five millimeters hook today for our earmuffs in this ball we have 154 meters or 167 yards and I only used one ball you will also need a pair of scissors a yarn needle and a tape measure so to start this earmuffs we are going to create these coasters maybe you remember as I have them in my playlist but my lovely follower Christina came up with this beautiful idea for these earmuffs so please don't forget to find her on her Instagram and I will make them a little bit different than Christina's but if you use bigger hook and chunkier yarn these earmuffs will get bigger as well so we will do two coasters then we will create a headband and the chains and then we will sew it all together also the link for these coasters will be in the description box below so let's get started first we are going to start with the magic ring hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook go under this one here like so and pull through the loop you have on your hook like so and this is your easy magic ring prepared now we are going to chain two more so all together we have chain of three one two and three and this first one is counting as your first chain so now we have chain of three and this chain of three is also counting as your first double crochet now inside this magic ring we are going to place 16 double crochet so this chain of three is your first double crochet and now we will place 15 more so second one third one fourth one so we have one two three four five and so on all the way around so we will have 16 double crochet inside the magic ring and chain of three is your very first double crochet so I have 14 now I am going to close my ring a little bit more so I have 14 this one is my 15th and the last one 16 so this chain of three is counting as your first ones so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen always double check so once you have your 16 double crochet we can close our ring completely like so and we are going to slip stitch on top of this chain of three so count one two and on top of this third chain insert your hook like so yarn over and pull through the loop you have on your hook and that's your slip stitch and that's how we are going to close this ring 
For round two, we are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we are going to count this as our first double crochet. Now, into the same place where is your chain of three coming from, right here, we are going to place double crochet. Like so, into the same place. Like this. So you have two double crochet into the same place. Now we are going to chain one. Find the next stitch right here. As you can see, the V on top. And into that stitch here, you will work double crochet. And one more. So you have two double crochet into this and next stitch. Chain one. And that's how you are going to work. In each stitch around, you will place two double crochet and then you will chain one. So as you can see, into this next stitch again, I will place one double crochet and one more into the same place. Chain one. Find the next stitch and place two double crochet. One and two. Chain one. And so on. So you will work like so in every stitch around. Two double crochet, chain one. Two double crochet, chain one. In each stitch around. And I am finishing here. And I will place one double crochet, second one, and chain one. And I have last one here, so I will place one double crochet and one more into the same stitch. And chain one. And now we are going to close this round two simply slip stitch on top of this chain of three one two and three into the third one insert your hook and work your slip stitch like so to finish this around two so for this around two we work two double crochet in each stitch around with a chain of one between those clusters Round three. Now we are going to chain three and this chain of three is not counting as our double crochet. For this round three, we'll be working front post double crochet, but we'll be working around two front post. I show you how to do it just in the minute. So just don't count this chain of three as your double crochet for this round three. Now yarn over, go from the back and go around those two front posts. So you have one and two front posts, like so. Bring it up and make sure you will stretch this loop higher, like so. Yarn over and pull through two. And pull through two, like so. And this is your very first front post double crochet. And this chain of three is not counting as your double crochet. So we have one front post double crochet and we need to do this four more times. So we will have all together five times front post double crochet like so. So you will work one more like this. So that second one, one and two. Now the third one and make sure this yarn is in the front like this and pull the loop higher pull through two and pull through two so we have one two three again make sure the yarn is in the front so those loops will sit nicely as well so we have four and we need one more to have all together five front post double crochet like so and we can call these little rows as they curled in 
a little bit and they look like a rose. So after each rose into the same space, you will place two single crochet. So into the same space, so one single crochet and one more like so. So you have your rows, which is five front pose double crochets. So the roses look like this all the way around. And after each row, you will place two single crochet. And after this very first row, you will always start straight away front pose double crochet like so so that's your very first one here pull the loop higher pull through two and pull through two so that's your first one and we need four more make sure the yarn is in the front like so pull the loop higher again stretch it a little bit and finish your double crochet so we have one and two pull the yarn in the front like so pull the loop higher and finish your double crochet so we have three four and we need our last one fifth one like so so we should have five front post double crochet but remember we working around two posts and now behind your rows place two single crochet again into the same space and you will work like so all the way around and once you are somewhere here i show you how to finish this round three at the end and I have one more to do so I will show you one more time so I have done my rows here and I will place two single crochet right into the same space after each rows you will do so so I will do this last rows so I have front post double crochet but remember we working under the two posts like so and we need to do this five times just make sure you will always stretch this loop and also don't forget to count so we have one two three and i need two more yarn in the front so the loops will sit nicely and I have last one here. Finish your double crochet and place two single crochet into the same space like so. Now we are going to finish simply slip stitch at the bottom of this starting chain three like so. Slip stitch and fast enough but leave it a little bit longer so you can hide it later on and i'm not going to cut it because that was just my sample and i already have two coasters prepared and i will reuse this one for something else so i have two coasters prepared and as you can see this is the wrong side of our coaster and this is the right side but I think the both sides are looking amazing next we are going to prepare this headband so prepare your yarn and we are going to create single crochet back loop so hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross 
go under this first one on top of the second up pulling down and twist your hook and release and this is your slip knot now we are going to chain five one two three four and five now work your single crochet into the second chain from the hook insert your hook yarn over bring it up and pull through like so this is your very first single crochet into the next one so that's your second one into the next one that's your third one and into the next one that's your fourth one so now you should have four single crochet one two three and four chain one and turn your work and from now on you will repeat this row for the rest of your headband so now we have these v's on top and each v is your one stitch but we will work only under the back loop so we have front and back and we will work only under the back loop single crochet so find your very first stitch but only back loop like so and work your single crochet so that's your first one second one and third one but under the last stitch you will always work under the full stitch so under this full v front loop and back loop so you have front loop here and back loop so you have two loops on your hook now so you will work single crochet under the full stitch chain one and turn your work and again so we will work single crochet under the back loop only for this first one second one and third stitch but remember your last one will be always under the full stitch so both loops front and back chain one and turn your work and repeat again single crochet back loop only one two and three and into the last one single crochet under the full stitch like so chain one and turn your work and that's how you are going to work and you will get this nice ribbing as you can see on this headband here which i prepared earlier on and for this headband i have 40 eight rows to count them they go like this so when they go like this you will have two rows two four six eight ten and so on so you will continue until you have 48 rows and remember once they meet each other it means two rows like so so i am going to finish here chain one and fasten off like so and now i'm going to give you measurements so in centimeters i have about let me see i have about 35 and a half centimeters or in inches i have about 14 inches long headband so so far we have two earmuffs and the headband and we are going to prepare two chains so for the chains we already know how to do the slip knot so first we are going to start with the slip knot hold your yarn and like so create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one and release now we are going to chain simple chain but you can also create your own cord it's up to you so i decided to go with this simple chain and i will create two chains and they will be long so in centimeters i will have about 70 centimeters and in inches 
I have about 27 and a half inches. So continue working like so on your chain until you get these long chains ready for the next step. And I'm finishing here and I am going to measure my chains. So we should have about 27 and a half inches or 70 centimeters long chains. And we need two chains. So once we are ready to fasten off, we are going to leave this long yarn end and it should be about 9 inches long. So measure first and then we can cut it off. In centimeters it's about 23 centimeters. And now we are ready to fasten off like so. And do so on both chains and our chains are ready so we have headband two chains and two ear muffs before we move on we are going to hide these ends in the middle and outside on both muffs so let's just grab your yarn needle and quickly hide it on this one and the top end as well so it's nice and neat and now we are going to prepare our yarn and the yarn needle prepare your coasters and turn them the wrong side up like so before we sew our headband we are going to find the end of third round which is here on this one and here on the other one and make sure they are at the bottom next we are going to sew our headband so remember this is the end of the round three and on both sides they should be at the bottom like so now bring your headband and place it like this so the headband is close to the start or end of the third round we created. And we will do exactly the same on the other side. So when you stretch it like so, you have one end like this and one end of your headband like this. And once you have it, you can sew it with this long yarn end or on this side, I didn't need very long yarn end. So I would just simply hide the short end and sew it with my yarn needle. So first I will hide this one because it's not very long. And I will simply just sew it with the yarn needle and the yarn. So just place it like this. And start in the corner and of course remember you can sew it the way you like or prefer maybe you have even better method than me so I like to do a knot at the start you can even do double knot and now we are ready to sew so I like to go like this just make sure you don't go through so you won't have stitches on the right side as we still want to keep all these stitches on the wrong side but as our thread isn't matching anyway you wouldn't even see them on the right side but i prefer when all the stitches are on the wrong side so i will be sewing like this nothing complicated do your best here 
my hand stitching is <laughs> not the best but it's okay because it's all on the wrong side and no one's gonna see those stitches anyway so i am coming to this corner here and now just double check we need to get to this top part so the headband is right in the middle and i don't want to fasten off here so i decided to go all the way around through those roses so you will just do few large stitches through them like this on this first half of our coaster like so just to get us to the top part of our coaster so we can attach the headband like this so we will do few little stitches here so the headband will stay nicely in place so i will do one stitch here just make sure you got your coaster as well so just go through like so so there will be your first stitch just make sure you are touching the coaster as well and then the other stitch you may do two or three in the middle just to keep the headband in place like so and that will be on the inside as well and now you will do one stitch right here do two three knots and you can finish right here and I got tangled as always so I am finishing like this and of course before you fasten off you can also hide the end just under this headband like this and then you can just fasten off so we don't need to do it later on and now you can simply just cut the yarn like so and we are done so this is one side and we are going to do other side exactly the same just make sure your coasters are facing the wrong way up before we do so i am going to hide the end here and now we will bring the other coaster find the end of the round three which is here and place this end of the headband right in the middle as we did on the other side like so now hold it in place also if you want you can use the pins so the headband is exactly in the middle have our muffs attached to our headband like so just make sure your headband is right in the middle on one side and on the other side and now for the last part we are going to attach the chains so for the chains it's super easy you can also do different method than me but i decided to go like this so i will find the middle like so with my hook and simply place the chain on the hook pull through like this 
and make a big knot from the inside but you can also sew it on as well or you can do double chain so if you do double length of this one chain and then just thread it that would work very well as well so I have done this and if it goes through you can do even bigger knot or simply just sew it on it's totally up to you I think this knot is just right and when you pull on it it stays nicely in so do this on the both sides And I have my chains attached and they are right inside as you can see so the knots won't be bothering you at all. If you don't like these knots you can also attach them with the sewing or just make double chain and pull through if you like. So now at the end I decided to do only little knot and simply cut the yarn I will do exactly the same on the other side little knot at the end just pull the knot so it stays at the end make it nice and tight and cut the yarn if you like you can add the beads and then do the knots it's totally up to you and this is it these are our beautiful ear muffs so much fun to make just remember have fun with your crochet and i think this project is totally so much fun so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me so if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook instagram pinterest and tiktok thank you very much for watching